and like the thing that gets me y'all wanna know what gets me like you're not all that babes like you're you're not all that do y'all ever see parents get on like as if they're writing the exam and not their children like why my husband cannot learn to cook for me why i have to learn to cook for a husband babes how would god feel about you smoking weed every day and not buying your child's school books like how would god feel about that before you even start to talk about how god feel about anything else worry about yourself where you'll get these children from like it have some really strange children that y'all be making and i'm like <laughs> those aren't children i don't know what to do with those but um for the most part i really just in general i feel like you don't need to be children if you are a disgusting person you're a disgusting person clothes doesn't stop people from being disgusting people wear what you want people who go quote unquote top schools and quote unquote bad schools the schools that nobody wants to pass for at the end of the day they could come out with the same amount of passes a lot of people actually do not realize how big of an issue colorism is in the caribbean discrimination against the lgbtq community in the caribbean is like honestly is disgusting but let's just be talking nonsense like like it's really that slave mentality you know it's really that slave mentality hey kids welcome back to my youtube channel it's kyla today's video is going to be my unpopular opinions but caribbean edition before we get into this video for y'all who don't know me i was born in barbados i lived there probably like two years moved to uh, why did i sound like that i was born in barbados moved lived there for like probably two years moved to st lucia lived there for like 11 years um then moved here to trinidad i've been living here four or five years now also let me just say guys like i think about a lot of things because as i told you already i have no friends i just talk to myself like a lot this is just from my perspective and what i could see another disclaimer right y'all i'm sorry this is a very long intro but another disclaimer anybody watching this video who might not be from the caribbean um this is not meant to bash the caribbean in any way i love the caribbean i would encourage anybody to visit like book a flight if you can also most of these things like you will not really experience as a visitor but these are just things i have noticed living and growing up in the caribbean so my first unpopular opinion is that the whole like leaving the caribbean because it's have nothing here and to me that whole argument is very dumb and let me tell you why first off let me say like i understand it because like i know a lot of careers that people want to pursue there's no market for that career in the caribbean that's fair i know that like sometimes society in the caribbean can be very like it could be very frustrating for some people especially young people because if you all think about it it's a lot of young people that has been making these comments they can't wait to leave here they can't wait to go away but um like i understand it because i know how society is here but like at the same time away is not necessarily better like you may not get these same problems but it's have other problems anyways my whole issue with that is just that like if everybody leave in the caribbean because it have no opportunities and they can't do what they want to do at the end of the day like what's it going on have in the caribbean like if everybody leaving who going and create these opportunities for other people like it just going on continuing that cycle you don't understand what i'm saying like to me i don't think i'm going to leave the caribbean but if i do to like study for like let's say a couple years or whatever my intention is to come back because to me like leaving is fine but like you have to at least come back and contribute something to like where you from for like people generations and children coming after you like that's just how i think it to me at the end of the day all those things considered like if everybody is leaving the caribbean because of a lack of opportunities there's nobody here to create those opportunities so that cycle just going and continue and continue my next opinion is kind of stemming from that first one but like the culture and people in the caribbean i would say are very close-minded like oh my gosh and it's frustrating honestly to have conversations with people and like they're not open to any new things this was really seen throughout this whole pandemic at the beginning of this pandemic some like billionaire was it my boy elon i don't think it was my boy elon but some billionaire or somebody basically said that um those who survived this pandemic are those who are able to like adapt and stuff and that's really true because like a lot of businesses and ceos because of their i'm not talking about those 
that had financial issues obvious financial i'm not talking about that but like there were ceos and businesses that were really struggling like big businesses that were really struggling to make changes within the pandemic and adapt to like online and technology and stuff which really says a lot because like honestly change is a part of i personally don't like change but change is a part of life and you have to be able to like change and evolve as a person because evolution exists and you see that whole back in my day nobody cares nobody cares we not in your day currently so that whole like mindset that a lot of older people have honestly i feel like it's hindering you know development because like nobody cares um the level of comfort that people have in the caribbean to comment on people's weights and size and bodies and figures honestly that is very astonishing to me you'll hear what word i use astonishing like to me like i don't understand how these things are seen as greetings like how are you getting fat so how is that a greeting how is this before you tell somebody good day you could ask them how they look in fat people don't see anything wrong with it because it's been so normalized but to me like like people go through stuff like women go through a lot of changes with their body whether it be from pregnancy or any other reasons teenagers like young adults sometimes have like weight fluctuations not drastic weight fluctuations because obviously that's the cause for concern but teenagers sometimes have like small weight fluctuations sometimes curls especially sometimes you're on your period your face might look a little fat you'll get what i'm saying I don't get how people let's be so comfortable telling this person they looking skinny and this person they looking fat and this person they gain weight and as like to tell somebody that like as a greeting that's crazy to me like that's crazy i don't get it i don't get it the thing is with like young people especially or like younger people i feel like it's more harmful to them to make comments about their body and their weight and stuff because like oh my first of all people let's have eating disorders people let's be going through stress people let's just i i don't know like if that's what conversation is we don't need to talk you understand if if that's what's considered a conversation we do not need to talk because don't comment about my weight me personally don't comment about my weight that's just weird like we could talk about the weather there's so many other stuff to talk about you don't need to comment on my weight that's not there's no need for that Y'all know that TikTok song. <laughs> My next opinion is that quote unquote developed or islands that are viewed as developed in the Caribbean. <laughs> islands that are quote unquote developed or considered developed in the Caribbean are really not as developed as they seem to be or as they are like to me honestly i feel like we need to look at that definition of the word developed because like to me countries that people consider developed i don't like in within the caribbean i'm like this is just from my point of view i'm not calling any names of any islands but that's just all i have to say to me there's like other factors to consider in terms of like what is development i don't feel like development in the caribbean is given like a holistic definition like it's just based off of i don't get it but to me like a lot of islands that are considered developed in the caribbean or like because it's most times like bigger islands that are considered i really don't feel like they are that's just how i feel that's just how i feel personally just saying my next one is that the amount of like casual colorism and text texturism in the caribbean is ridiculous to me like honestly guys just saying um i feel like you don't fully understand something until you actually experience it yeah you may like have the perspective of somebody that went through it and you could be understanding and you could empathize with them yeah like a hundred percent but to me there's a whole different level of when you actually experience something yeah i could sympathize with you and empathize with you but i feel like you can never fully understand something unless you actually go through it yourself that's how i feel about colorism because like a lot of people actually do not realize how big of an issue colorism is in the caribbean and like i know this because of conversations i've had with people that are lighter skin to me and i'm like that's cute that you think that <laughs> that's cute that you think that babes but me as a dark skinned person 
like i can tell you that colorism is very prominent within the caribbean like uh, because i've been experiencing this my whole life this is not anything new from like it's it's honest like it's ridiculous like and then comments to that people make especially mothers make to their children about like their tech hair texture or like quote unquote this person have good hair what is good hair what is that or i've heard people say this person have a good complexion a nice complexion what does that mean does that mean they have clear skin because if it means anything other than them having clear skin you shouldn't be saying that especially to young children because like oh my gosh certain things that i've heard young children say is just like and you can't even blame them because you know it's their parents putting that information in them but like still oh my it sounds so dumb and so ignorant and then too like a lot of lighter skinned people with curly hair have like this complex superiority complex you never see like somebody who like lighter skin and in their mind they feel like they are this and they and it's like you're not all that babes like you're you're not all that. like you'll ever see somebody with curly hair and they swear they are this and they are you're not all that you just have curly hair calm down what is seen as like curly hair or nice hair isn't even really curly hair like in actuality if we want to go down the like hair types 4c would be the curliest hair the kinkiest hair that people don't consider to be nice or good hair or curly hair is actually the curliest hair so like you're guessing what i'm saying and that whole need to like define your curls or like put all these products in your hair so your hair could look curly that's dumb if you want to put stuff in your hair put stuff in your hair if you don't want to put stuff in your hair don't but that doesn't make you any like that doesn't do anything you yeah and the impact of certain comments made about like skin tone and hair texture like the impact of that on like little children my next one this is going to be a little controversial homophobia like just discrimination against the lgbtq community in the caribbean is like honestly is disgusting like i really cannot use another word it's disgusting in my opinion not even in my opinion that's just facts it really is disgusting like the comments that people make freely in society sometimes i'm in shock like why would you say that like oh my like okay guys i would never forget this because this like honestly i was like this was like first of all i would i guess i guess i identify as a straight person so this doesn't directly affect me but from like seeing how normalized homophobia and these comments people make about people so freely i'm like it, it's disturbing to me personally even though i am not a part of that community i can still recognize the amount of discrimination that is like it's just it's a normal saturday afternoon you know so as i was saying <clears throat> this this was like really disturbing to me right so in 2020 this was like july august i was working for that summer um this was like after covid when we had a little like relaxation of like rules and stuff in well trinidad at least so i was working for the summer um i was traveling home a day so i was in a car a taxi with the driver and another man in the back seat with me right first of all like just saying i hate having conversations in cars like if if i ever i'm in a car i don't want to talk to the driver we don't need to make comments about traffic we don't need to make comments about who's saying what on the radio i don't want to talk to any driver when i'm in a car first of all and then second of all i don't want anybody in that car to be making conversation we could just sit in silence i don't know why people feel the need to talk in cars it's not necessary anyways anyways <laughs> i was in a car right and this man who appeared to be gay was walking on the street i don't know the man in the back seat proceeded and the driver proceeded to have like y'all and this is traffic right through traffic they were having this conversation like i'm not even joking 30 minute conversation about this man that we passed like so long ago like 25 minutes ago who went along a conversation talking about people need to burn in hell and gay people and what to not like support cool but like to say people need to burn in hell for doing something that doesn't even concern you that doesn't involve you like at all that is crazy to me and like the thing that gets me 
y'all wanna know what gets me what gets me is the use of like god and the church and the bible to justify it because y'all i am a christian i know what the bible says right but it's always the people who the last time they went to church was probably when they were like five years old who always using the bible to justify stuff who does only go to church every easter sunday who always using god to justify stuff and i'm like babes how would god feel about you smoking weed every day and not buying your child's school books like how would god feel about that before you even start to talk about how god feel about anything else worry about yourself worry about yourself like oh my gosh guys you cannot like support something you could not agree with something but at the end of the day you're living in a world with different people not everybody's going to be like you not everybody's going to think up like you you can't control what other people do with your lives so just worry about yourself to me that is like a life motto of mine once something is not affecting me directly it's not harming me it's not hurting anybody around me i mind my business that has nothing to do with you if i wish people in the caribbean would have the same like passion they have towards this so like rapists that is just be walking around known rapists that is just be walking around freely and nobody cares there's so many other issues to me like we have bigger fish to fry i could care less do what you want with your life i don't see how that's so concerning to certain people a lot anyways yeah that conversation that i was a witness to for that however long 30 35 minutes through town with brooks st james that was literally the worst conversations i ever heard in my life and i was honestly i wanted to say something but like yo like i really did there was a point in time i'm not that type of person but there was a point in time where i was sitting in this car and i was listening to these two idiotic men's talk forever and i really wanted to say something but i had to think because it was late at night it was like seven ish i'm in a car alone with two men so i was like let me just you know, let me just, let me just get home safe. Especially people talking about they gonna burn people in. I'll, let, me, let me just get home safe. But yeah, that honestly, like I will never forget this conversation because it was really so disturbing to me. Honestly, so as I said, like in situations like this, I would understand why people would want to go away because there's probably a more accepting environment and a more accepting society. So I get that argument, right? My next unpopular opinion is that secondary school placement within the Caribbean is, it's, it's whack. Like, I, I don't know what other words to use. It's really dumb to me. It makes no sense. And to me, like, we need to change that just collectively. I say the Caribbean because most islands use the same type of system, which is a common entrance exam. Trinidad has SEA. Um, other countries have a common entrance exam. And you write that exam at the end of secondary school. Based on your results, you get placed into a secondary school. Right me this is coming from me somebody who um i attended two of what would be considered top good schools in the caribbean i really feel like placing children in schools based on like that to me that just creates a whole set of unhealthy and unnecessary competition and it's not even healthy competition like parents y'all ever see parents get on like as if they write in the exam and not their children like the whole prestigious school versus like was not seen as a prestigious school and like to me that's just really dumb and healthy like honestly i feel like children should be able to attend schools not worry about what and like what school you go to in the caribbean like it doesn't just affect you in that point in time like years past that people always ask what school you went to and make judgments whether consciously or not people make judgments based on what school you attend if you're attending a prestigious school a top school a good school or not and to me at the end of the day like people who go quote unquote top schools and quote unquote bad schools the schools that nobody wants to pass for at the end of the day they could come out with the same amount of passes i could go to this school come out with seven eight passes and you could go a bad school and come out with the same amount of passes like i know they're trying to make changes towards that like in barbados i think I think there's a CPEA, that's what it's called, exam by CXC that's been introduced in like Dominica and St. Lucia like this year, I think. So um, it's like continuous assessment from the last two years of primary school and then they do a final multiple choice test. Honestly, standardized national testing in general, there's a lot of issues with it, but just bringing it down to a smaller scale, common entrance that 
yeah i feel like we need to find a better way to put children in secondary school that's like a lot of stress to put on children like not just from them or their own selves but like teachers put that stress on children then their parents neighbors family members you never even talk to telling you you better pass for this school and it's like do i know you y'all guess what i'm saying like the amount of anxiety and stress and depression that causes and pressure that puts on young 11 12 13 year olds that's insane to me yo i feel like i really not expounding expanding what's the word i feel like i really not developing these opinions like properly because it's late but like i hope y'all get what i'm saying like what i'm trying to say and not like misinterpret what i'm saying my next and popular um on y'all probably feel like i just be doing this on purpose i really don't like i cannot talk my next unpopular opinion is um what was it hold on i don't want to look what was it my next unpopular oh my next unpopular opinion is that like i feel like in the caribbean a lot of people don't think freely and don't think independently and for themselves and yeah like to me this could be seen especially in people's political views and opinions like you'll ever sit well i'm a child not for much longer but like i am a young teen young adult teenager right i've sat and like heard children like express their political views and opinions and it's always so obvious that that's just what their parents tell them which is like I can't blame them because they're children but this also translates into adulthood like i hear so many people on a daily talking and i'm like babes like did you actually i say babes a lot <laughs> i feel like chloe <laughs> from um too hot to handle but no i'm like do, do you all actually sit and think about these things for yourself because to me if you were to sit and think about these things like for yourself form your own opinion you would realize the many issues with what you're saying but I feel like people really don't do that. It doesn't take much to sit and educate yourself on a topic, to research. Like just because this person, your friend tell you this, that doesn't mean your friend probably don't even know what they're talking about. That doesn't mean to just take it at face value and run with it. They'll just be talking nonsense. Like adults, oh my gosh, just because John and Daisy and Becky tell you this, that doesn't mean that's what it is. Like just pull out your computer, Google is free. Google it for yourself, do some research, think for yourself. You have a brain or maybe you don't, but like think about about stuff for yourself y'all this really gets me mad because <laughs> this really gets me mad but like oh my gosh and then to me this is harmful now is when like young children are being raised in this way to not think for themselves and not to think freely so they're just following the crowd and going with the flow and going with what the previous generation did which is where problems are created because we can't continue and develop as a society if we just go and follow what the other generation did because clearly that didn't work out so well for them so or maybe it did but like I don't know um, i don't know next point um the internalized misogyny just i'm not talking about misogyny in general because honestly like that i don't feel like that's going to change anytime soon just in the world in general men are just men and as much as we would like it to change this is like a work in progress i'm not even going to talk about that the internalized misogyny coming from females women within the caribbean it isn't cute like it's it isn't cute like yeah to me this is most prominent in like how men are raised in comparison to how females girls are raised like comments like um you have to learn to cook or you wouldn't get a husband like why my husband cannot learn to cook for me why i have to learn to cook for a husband you get what i'm saying like i would love to have a son honestly because like I would love to have a son like i don't even want children but i would just love to have a son just to see like how i could raise this son to be like i just want to raise a son if anybody have a son and they want me to raise it i mean him if anybody want me to raise him i will gladly raise your sons for you i would gladly raise sons because y'all cannot raise your own sons like regardless of gender you should teach children how to cook how to clean up after themselves how to like Oh my gosh because then men go into relationships looking for a second mother basically and i'm sorry me personally i cannot be that to anyone i don't want to be that to anyone so look again look again if you thought you found the one <laughs> you didn't look again keep looking even in like comments about how girls dress like girls like honestly wear what you want oh you can't dress like this and using men as excuse you telling young girls that they can't dress like that 
where was he once away? Men are men, not even just men. People, if you are a disgusting person, you're a disgusting person. Clothes doesn't stop people from being disgusting people. Wear what you want. Don't don't allow like if you're a young person watching this, don't allow like older women or older people to make you feel bad about your choice of dress, your choice. Wear what you want. Just in like facial expressions or like comments, like I wouldn't wear that. Or like just nobody cares if you wouldn't wear that. Like, okay. What do you want me to do about that? I don't know. Yeah, I really not developing these things as I thought I would, but it like it is what it is. Hopefully you'll get what I'm saying. Um beating children is dumb corporal punishment in general i feel like is yeah i don't know why are we doing that you're probably like wasn't i talking about um i was happy some boy was getting beat in my last video but see guys he like he was trying to stab me so i feel like in that case violence would have been a good answer but like in general like it's really that slave mentality you know it's really that slave mentality anyways the the like what actually got me to think about this well actually i never planned on beating my children i always thought beating my children was bad right me personally i wasn't beat when i was a little girl like i would get slaps here and then maybe once in a while i got like but my mommy never my daddy never held me and like as a form of punishment like to me there's so many other things you could do before we resort to beating because i know there's some parents who like go through stuff and this doesn't work and they try gentle parenting and they try all these other stuff and then their last resort is beating not saying that should be an option but that's like understandable but to just beat a child like because they spill milk because they get too wrong in a test you're gonna give your child licks i don't i don't get what that does um yeah and then to a lot of parents beat out of anger not actually out of wanting this child to learn from this mistakes wanting this child to develop they just they mad at you so they beat you and then to me that teaches young children that like oh mommy mad at me so she, so she gonna beat me right so then they get older and they're like oh when i'm mad at somebody i gonna if i get mad at my wife i gonna beat my wife like a lot of things stem stem trace back to your childhood and people don't even realize this like to me i don't feel like you should be children i feel like there's other ways we could discipline children younger millennials i've realized from like families and people i've interacted with that are okay that are younger millennials they don't really beat their children but right back to what i was saying guys i just going around and around and around in super nanny i remember there was this super nanny episode and there was this family and they used to beat their children and super nanny was like no we don't beat children because at the end of the day they don't they're not learning right from wrong they're just learning oh if i do this mommy's going to beat me if i do this daddy gonna give me licks they're not realizing what's wrong with that which is so true because like to me honestly like if you think about it think about it right when you're younger if you go in your mommy purse and you take five dollars she's gonna beat you so in your mind you're like okay i'm not going to go in mommy's place and take five dollars because you're gonna beat me what happens when you get older now and nobody can beat you if you steal because you don't have any mommy around anymore who gonna stop you from stealing more than five dollars because in your mind you don't have a mommy to beat you anymore so you could just like you all understand what i'm saying i don't know maybe that's a reach but like that's how i feel and then honestly too guys like to me when i was younger um I used to spend a lot of time in locked rooms that was like my punishment i wasn't like a bad child but like if i was like you know i would get locked in rooms my mommy would best believe she would lock me in rooms no toys no tablet just kyla in a room by herself sorry <laughs> So yeah, there was one time, oh, one time my mommy locked me in the laundry room, right? And the only thing there was, was the machine, the dryer, and the sink, like the laundry sink. And I needed to poop. And I was telling my mommy, like, mommy, you need to unlock this, so I really need to poop. And like, she wasn't believing me or something. She probably thought I didn't actually need to. So she was like, do it in the sink. And I was like, okay, <laughs> but <laughs> So then I actually, I was in the sink. I was getting ready. Like, it was and then she unlocked the door and i was like oh oh <laughs> so that was fun but no i really used to spend a lot of like time in locked rooms that was like my punishment to me like the naughty corner or like locking children in rooms not like locking them but like a naughty corner or like separating them why can't i talk <gasps> i'm choking 
to me that works because you're leaving children alone giving them time to reflect and think about their actions and like you kind of do know when you did something you're not supposed to do so if you're left like alone with no toys no tablet nothing to do and that's all you're thinking about sometimes you you like you know like guys example i have a baby cousin called brianna she's like two almost three she'll be three in december i think so um today i was like doing my work i was studying doing my revision whatever right and she was next to me on the bed with her with her paper like drawing with markers and stuff right so then i happened to look up and i saw purple marker all over my sheet and i was mad because i just washed my sheet like <laughs> so i um i told her go on the ground and color don't color on my bed and i was mad so then after she was coloring on the ground i brought her like i dragged her i dragged her and i made her look at these purple marks on my sheet and i was like why did you color on my sheet you're not supposed to do that and i told her to say sorry and she did not say sorry i was like say sorry she was like no say sorry i was like no i was like okay i gotta do my work so i told her i wasn't gonna speak to her anymore and i went about my business doing my work so like y'all for like five almost ten minutes she was just standing up staring at me and i could feel it i was doing my work but i was feeling her staring at me and then after 10 minutes she was like sorry and i wasn't taking her and then she was like sorry and she was like sorry and i was like we had like a little wholesome moment there like she was able to stand up and sit or whatever and she thought about what she did and she realized what she did was wrong and then she apologized i don't feel like you need to beat a child in order to get them to do that that's just my opinion like it has some really evil like it has some children i'm like where y'all get these children from like it has some really strange children that y'all be making and i'm like <laughs> those aren't children i don't know what to do with those but um for the most part i really just in general i feel like you don't need to be children yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry i apologize like oh y'all also that like sending children to school to get beat to me if i ever get children and i send my children to school nobody is to beat my children y'all understand what i'm saying oh. Yay. um the first like main school i went to was a private school so like thinking about it now those children in private they used to be doing some like they were basically like i don't like all of them were like spoiled like just saying so like the stuff they used to be doing like thinking about it now i'm like oh, your parents used to let you do that at seven like at nine you would like to me that's crazy i wasn't spoiled I mean, maybe I was a little spoiled, but not to that extent where I didn't have any discipline and parental guidance and I was just left to do what I wanted to do. Not to that extent. So when I transferred to a public government school, it was honestly like really shocking to me, like the difference between private versus public. Like in my mind, I was like, oh, this is really ghetto. Like, <laughs> mommy, they be beating children in school. Honestly, like no, to like little young Kyla, I was like, ah. Yo, I never used to get beat in school, right? Let me tell you about the three times that I got beat in primary school. I used to be like shocked if somebody wanted to beat me because I was a good child. I used to behave myself. I wasn't in any drama. I used to just do my work and I used to be a good girl. So when I was in grade three, I got beat for the first time. So grade three is like the equivalent to like standard two, I believe. Right. So when I was in grade three, this teacher beat me because I believe I like didn't capitalize uh oh a letter or i didn't put a full stop something like grammar punctuation related right what is that this teacher beat me for that and i was like it's not that serious like i was honestly shocked because like i never used to get into trouble and i was like oh you want to beat me like i never used to cry i used to take it like a a chap right i used to take it like a cheek and it, honestly like it really didn't hurt <laughs> it never used to hurt so the second time was when i was in grade four so this would be like the equivalent to standard three um oh my gosh can these dogs shut up all right when i was in grade four like a morning i used to be in school early because my daddy used to have to go to work early so i used to be in school like six five i used to be in school early so one morning before school 
I was playing with some other children in my class and we were running, right? Somehow, y'all just saw me dig my nose, you. <laughs> Somehow, through that playing on that morning, the classroom door broke, right? I don't know how it matched up, but it just, something in it broke, right? So, when the conversation came up in class about who broke the door, something was said about some children running and playing this morning and within that hole my name was called and Kyla ended up getting beat for that and I was like oh well and then the last time the same principle from my last story time I thought we were cool right so in front of school sorry guys my nose is itching because her office was like in front of the school in that whole area you were supposed to wait for your parents there after school or else you would get beat like everybody knew that so once you were there after school you would get beat go in the courtyard itself and wait for your parents you weren't allowed to wait there me i wasn't even waiting for my daddy right i just went to see if he was there because my phone wasn't working at that point in time so i was just like let me take a stroll to see if he's in the parking lot so as i was walking back from my parking lot stroll she came and she was like what are you doing and i was like P -p -p and yeah that was that honestly hurt me because I was like, I thought we had something. Like, why would you beat me? <laughs> why would you beat me for this? You know? That was the three times, and those were the only three times I believe that I got beat in primary school. I don't know that I was a good girl. I grew up as a real good girl. Mm-hmm. No go no real. As soon as I went in. Okay. Back to my unpopular opinions, because I just went on like a story time that y'all never asked for. Back to back to back to back right um some of y'all in the caribbean have some really weird pets like yeah i don't really have an issue with dogs once you know it's mistreating your dogs i don't have an issue with dogs because those are actually domestic animals like those are pets but like why you have a pet iguana like why is that a pet like sometimes i'll see somebody i'm like what are these animals where do you all find these animals why do you have these animals as pets like a hamster a fish a dog a cat fine but why do you have a snake in your room but like to me birds like birds first of all birds and to me birds and pets like birds are supposed to be flying free why do you have the national bird as a pet like they are laws for these types of things like helping me but like no fruit like birds it have this man where i live and just like people in general people do this thing that like they walk their bird they take their bird in a cage and walk their bird like did your bird tell you it needed exercise why why are we walking birds in 2022 i don't get it somebody please connect the dots for me somebody call me camille because this doesn't make sense to me why are we walking birds like there's people who have birds and they have like big spacious cages and they were allowed to fly and like wander and like do i'm like okay wait that's understandable but please don't buy a bird put it in a cage this small and that just be your pet for life and that bird just in that cage night and day doing what at that point like rio i'm coming to rescue that bird if i see anybody doing that i'm coming to rescue that bird yo honestly on the topic of birds right chickens i cannot stand chickens like it somebody where i live has chickens these they are so annoying like they're always making noise in my videos like i just be trying to talk in online classes and i doesn't even want to unmute my mic because these chickens does just be making noise so dogs too why are they so noisy shut up y'all could have picked eh. what is these animals yeah if i ever move into a house and there's like somebody who has chickens within like a two three mile radius i'm i'm pressing charges and i'm moving out i'm moving out because that's so ghetto to me like I respect it like have your chickens you know get your eggs and stuff like what's that called aerial no not aerial what am i 
I meant to say arable. That's how I pronounce it. And I said aerial. What? I clearly need to do some end by revision because it's it's not looking good. Um, subsistence. Subsistence. I think that's subsistence for me. But yeah, guys, my last and final unpopular opinion for this video. I feel like they need to relax rules on like school uniform and like hair and shoes. Most Caribbean schools, if not all, have some sort of uniform. And I saw TikTok about this earlier. If I find it, I'll insert it in this video here. <laughs> Yeah, um, I feel like this person expressed it really well. Like, it's really not distracting because that's the excuse that's used. It's distracting. To who? Who is it distracting to? And making boys cut their hair. And, like, and it's, to, it's always black children. Like, yeah, the Caribbean is multiracial and there are other races. But it's always black children that are at the disadvantage because of these rules. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you agree with any of these opinions, you could comment down below. Even if you disagree, you could comment down below too. Um, if y'all are watching this right now and y'all aren't subscribed, you could not forcing you just saying it's you know it's there. You could subscribe. Um, digging my nose again. Ew. Don't forget to like this video. Um, comment any video suggestions that you have. Also, let me know if y'all want me to do a part two of this video. Like not really stuff as in like development is you'll understand what i'm saying so if you want me to do like a more relaxed fun unpopular opinions caribbean edition i could do that because i have many more and yeah thanks for watching see y'all in my next video bye